Hello, Hillwood. I'm Holly Gold. And I'm Alyssa Bupko. And, and here's, here's what's happening at HMS. HMS. Everyone gets to sleep in 10 minutes late on October 5th. Because it's pajama day. Roll out of bed in your favorite school appropriate pajamas and head straight to school. Wait, shouldn't they shower? Yes, please shower on a daily. And brush your teeth. Don't be a slob. Wednesday is color out day. Wear your teal, purple, blue, orange, yellow, red, or black. Support your house and win prizes at lunch. Hillwood football kicks off the season Tuesday against Keller. Cross Country starts their season Wednesday with a meet at Pike Middle School. And that's the news. Here's, Here's what, what else is happening, happening at HMS. HMS. guys for joining me as we interview Coach Higginlooper. I know this is a difficult time for you, Coach, but I've got some questions to ask you. Sure. Okay. So, how long have you been a hockey fan? Uh, I have been a hockey fan since I was about four years old, so that's about 31 years now. Wow. So, you're really invested. I'm very invested in this sport. What's your favorite team? The Colorado Avalanche. How did that happen? Uh, I grew up in Colorado. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. So, I was saying this is a difficult time, so how do you think the Stars are going to do in game two? Um, hockey season's over, so no one cares. And, I mean, viewership dropped like a million percent after the Avalanche went out, and it's the Stars, it's Texas, no one even knows what hockey is. Uh, hopefully the Stars lose in game two. That's what I'm pulling for Tampa Bay. Let's go Tampa. So that's how you feel. <laughs> it is, it, I mean, it is frustrating. The Avalanche did lose to the Stars in game seven in the second round with a third string goalie and seven of our top players out. That's what it took Dallas to beat us. And you know what they did? Dallas won, uh, but I still hope they lose. Dallas won. I think that's the thing we have to hold. They, they did. Dallas, Dallas won. won. Dallas beat Colorado. I'll, I'll so, and I guess my last question is kind of moot mo in that, you know, how what what do you think Dallas is going to win in, <laughs> or what kind of uh, ta a tally is it going to be between? It should be a good game. I mean, if Dallas keeps playing like their their cheap style of hockey, I guess you will. Uh, they can wear Tampa Bay down. I'm still, Which we already have done. I'm <laughs> still hoping that Tampa Bay comes back because. Dallas was up 3-1 in the series to Colorado, and Colorado came back to force game seven with a third string goalie. And Dallas won. And, and Dallas won. So, and, and you know, at the end of the day, if Dallas wins the, the COVID Cup, I mean, Stanley Cup, the COVID Cup, uh, you know, it, that's like the most 2020 thing that could happen. So, all right. 
Well, I know it is a tough, tough time for you. And I do empathize it with you, even though I am a huge Dallas Stars fan. I have been a Stars fan for 20 years. My son is even named after the great Brendan Morrow. My son's name is Brendan. So, you know, I, I have to say that um, he used to jump around when I was pregnant with him as we were watching the, uh, the Stars play. Not necessarily a championship year, but I do have something for you to say thank you and to say I'm sorry because you're wrong. You're wrong. The Stars will win and we're all going to be wearing our green on Friday to celebrate and support the stars. And I have a little something for him that I am going to give because everybody needs a little something <laughs> to remember this time by. <laughs> now are they handing these out? Would you like paying money for this? Because no one would pay money for this, would they? <laughs> Cut.